What is up, y'all? It's the Eric V, your stream teach here, and I'm proud to say that I am a YouTube partner again. And I must say that that's probably due to my extreme professionalism when it comes to my intros. I'm stylish, black talk, big t-shirt, Billy. Watch on my wrist, but I. And I think that one of the best things that you can do for your brand is to make yourself as shareable as possible. So what I'm going to teach you today is how to make your clips into gifts. Class is in session. So first things first, let me show you how to get a clip from Twitch so we can make it into a GIF. So we're going to click on our face in the upper right corner, click on video producer on the left hand side. We have the word clips. We're clicking on that clips of my channel. We're going to find a clip that we want. Then we're going to click on the share button right here. And then we're clicking on the down arrow there. And that will get our clip from our Twitch page onto our computer. After you have your clip downloaded, there's a link in the description that leads you to easygif.com slash video hyphen two hyphen gif. And once we're on that page, we are going to find our video that we downloaded and we're going to drag it right here. It must meet the requirements here for the video and it has to be under 100 megabytes. So we're going to drop that right there and then I'm going to click on upload. From here, what I'm going to do is find the specific parts of the video that I want to be included in the GIF. From reading the instructions here, it says it's better to crop the video before converting it into a GIF. The reason you want to concern yourself with cropping the GIF at all is if you want to use it as an emote. If you did, you can just crop it as a square and reuse it as an emote there. But also, if you are capturing something that's in your camera window, and the game might be the rest of the screen, you wanna make sure you focus the GIF on your face or whatever interesting part you wanna capture. So let's click crop the video. And what we're gonna do here is make it square. And since I've clicked the preset for square, I can just crop it however I want and drag that wherever I want to. And now I'm gonna click crop video. So now that our video is cropped into a square, we can convert this video into a GIF. So I'm gonna click video to GIF. And now what I'm gonna do is find the exact moment that I want to make into the GIF, which is the dancing part. So I'm gonna click ahead here and I'm gonna look for the knuckles up because that's how I know I'm doing it. So for the start time, I'm going to click where the playhead is. So use current position. And then when I end the dance, right about there, 17 seconds, we're going to click the end time to use current position. Now we're going to leave everything default for now. If you wanted to, again, make this into an emote, you might want to make this size smaller so that it will fit in case your file size is too big. The frame rate, of course, is how fluidly the GIF itself moves. The higher the frame rate, the bigger the file is. So we're gonna click convert to GIF. And now I am a GIF. So let's say that I wanted to make this GIF even smaller because it is pretty large right now. To make it an emote, I can click optimize the GIF and we will compress it very heavily to 200 actually. It's a Twitch emote and we're barely gonna be able to see it. And we know that this GIF is 3.69 megabytes. So what we're gonna do is resize this. So now we're going into viewer rewards, emotes. We're scrolling down to my animated emotes here and I'm going to remove one just to see if we can upload the new GIF we just made. Resolution of 112. So we're just going to go 112. And we're going to resize. And now that that's resized, we have a GIF that is 451 kilobytes. And I'm dragging that onto my desktop. And now that should be able to fit. And now we have an emote of me doing a raggedy bankhead bounce. And if you really want to make the brand strong, you can go to Giphy.com and Giphy is the world's leading site of animated GIFs. So when you use Twitter or Instagram or maybe even your Google keyboard and it pulls from GIFs, it'll pull from Giphy. So you can click upload 
and I'm going to drag my GIF there. And here we can add tags to describe what's happening in the GIF and obviously who is in it. So obviously, streamer school, the Eric, I spelled my own name wrong, the Eric V, and Bankhead Bounce. And then we will upload to Giphy. So if people were to search those terms, that GIF should pop up. Maybe try searching for it. Tell me if you found it. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple process and it gives your community a way to engage with you and with your content without you possibly even being around, but just you being expressive enough to express the emotion that they're feeling through that GIF. And if you want to see me make silly faces, do silly dances, feel free to check me out at twitch.tv slash the Eric V. And if you like the video, then like the video. Class dismissed. Shout out to Corliss JC, Dr. J, and Mocha Medics for being tier three yes. patrons.